in case the physician does not have an oximetry pulse wave monitor in the consult room or does not have an ultrasound, the minimum task that should be done in order to make sure that the patient is eligible for transradio access procedure is to perform the Ellens test. What I'd like to do here is just examine your hand and I'm going to block the radio artery and the ulnar artery and my goal is to see if once we keep the radio artery compressed if your ulnar artery will be enough to perfuse your whole hand. As, you, as is well known, the radio artery perfuses or gives blood to the first and second finger and the ulnar artery perfuses or gives blood to the fourth and fifth fingers and the middle finger is basically a mix of the two. So what we'd like to do here is to hold pressure in both radio and ulnar arteries and as you can see your hand is pinkish, is normal. Please make a fist and after you open up let's observe how pale it's going to be. Please do so. And now it's pale, I'm going to release the ulnar artery and your hand immediately became pinkish again. Showing what? That with the occlusion of the radio artery as I'm doing here your ulnar artery was capable of reperfusing or giving blood to your first and second fingers showing that you have a complete palmar arch in other words the, the, the blood can come only from the owner and give blood to your whole, your whole hand so in case we have during the case an occlusion of the radio artery using the sheath inside or a complication afterwards such as a small short occlusion of the radio artery that will not affect the perfusion of your hand and your hand will be intact and safe.